good morning so we got a monday full of stuff today we gotta go change an evap coil and i got some help because it's gonna be in a pantry like the access is up over a china cabinet in a pantry so we gotta be kind of delicate and gentle about the situation so i got another tech to come help me uh but it's a new construction home trains the uh, coil i found it it's leaking right at the aluminum weld on the u-bend it's under warranty so we're just going to change it out under warranty and uh move on to the next one so i uh, hope you guys enjoy and let's get to it we'll see you at the call i do not like how they ran these lines up what was that I'm gonna add that in the video. <laughs> what I gotta deal with. I got poop over here and then and poop in the air. I'm gonna get If I would have known that, I would have just done that. Sometimes when you get on the phone. Uh huh. Yeah. Literally. Get distracting. That's exactly what happened. I'm not telling you it did. <laughs> That's what happens to me every time. <laughs> I do dumb stuff sometimes when I get distracted. I just want to Upside down, so you, um, you can do the side. other side, the other side, not the, that side, the back side. You just want it so, like this, like so. Yep, yeah. Looks like I'm gonna put my hands on that flap. No, you're good. Crap falling on my face. I'm trying to get it good somewhere where I can grip it good. The, the, the copper, that's what I was saying. Cap tubes. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was saying um, that way first, so you can have a handle. Gotta be Ooh, perfect. I got you. I'm this top. You okay, to hold on. Let me top. get down one step. I'm about to fall backwards. I got this. Okay. All right. You can let it go. Mm. Still got a handle. Like you want to go down one more? All right. I'm holding it. Holding it. Got it. Yeah. All right. All you. Oh God. Why is it so heavy? <laughs> it was so heavy. <laughs> I can't feel the last step. Just ease it. Flip it and reverse it. You never had one fill that loose right there. That's what she said.
Using Willie's torches, we ran out of oxygen. But first, we had to bump the nitrogen up um, because there's oil just in that bend right there, like full of oil. So we had to bump the nitrogen up just to blow all the, the oil out of there. And now he's going to get an oxygen bottle so we can finish this. It's literally half the suction line left. We'll be done. Bad karma to put your torches up before you're done. They're still right here. I'm taking minutes. The butt's about it. All That's right, we're crank, cranking it up. We're doing a pressure test. And then we'll put a vacuum on it. Put the inside together. Well, what do they work with? All right, I want to let it settle. And then, uh, see, that's as simple as it gets. And then we'll go from there. All right, she's holding. We've been doing it for a while now. So now is the fun part. I like to close this valve, take off my hose, and uh, actually, we're gonna do the suction line too because there's a lot of oil in that suction line. So I'm gonna blow that suction line out. I think we're going to test the uh, Hercules drill again today, or the uh, vacuum pump. My bad. More than much, but I think that Hercules thing might actually do pretty good. So let's get uh, get that hooked up and we'll test it out again. Okay. So I got the Hercules vacuum pump set up. I got two hoses because I got that Y. Um, I think these are 3.8s. They're the Apion Megaflow. Uh, not exactly sure. They're 3.8s connection here and quarter inch on this side. And then um, I got my vacuum on the suction. And I got the cores removed with the core removers here. And the battery is full as you can see it is 1121 turn it on it does have the valve change here all right let's see how she does now we're only vacuuming um the we did the line dryer and everything, so there shouldn't be any buildup. We're only vacuuming the end, the line set, and the evaporator coil. We're not doing the condenser. We pump the refrigerant down, so we're only doing that. So we'll see how long it takes for doing just the half the system. So update. It's all eleven. It's been about ten minutes. And this thing is pulled down to 22 and it's bouncing around and hasn't pulled. It's like it's not even strong enough. It, I mean, it's pretty quiet, so I give it the benefit of the doubt. But it's not pulling down past that. <clears throat> I know we've seen a lot of videos. I know we've seen a lot of videos online and people saying it's a great vacuum pump. Um, I, it's portable, which it is. And I can see it might be good on like small refrigeration stuff, but this right here should be the best case scenario 
with a brand new coil so there's no nothing trapped in it I blew nitrogen through it to clean it out um, not much oil came out so that's a sign saying there's not a lot of oil trapped in it so it should be best case scenario right now and it should be pulling down pretty quick and it's struggling struggling worse than it did on the Goodman system when I did the entire system but I gave it 45 minutes of full battery so we're gonna give this thing a full battery and keep an eye on it and we'll see what happens but it's it's been 12 minutes and it just ain't budging off 2300 it went down really fast to 2300 and then it's just kinda hanging out so we'll see alright so we check for loose connections and everything and we're running and it still can't get past this micron set so we're gonna hook the fill piece up and we're gonna swatch it and see how long it takes All right, so I literally released the vacuum just to prove um, I'm about to turn it on. I have not changed the oil. It is dirty. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it is dirty. Get this bad boy on right now. Watch it. We'll time it. It is 11:48. Watch it. All right, field piece has been running. For almost 10 minutes and it, it's not pulling down past 2000 so I think we just got a lot of oil in the system. You can see the smoke. This is only a 6 CFM unit. Alright so we're doing a triple back. I just got done in the last cycle. Running it. Yeah, I just kicked it on. We'll see. It's 12:13. But every time I did a triple vac, not any oil came out of this thing. So I don't know why it's struggling. It could maybe this valve's not. It's having issues or leaking or something. Something was making it struggle though. Well, well, it's been literally pulling down for like a minute, and it's already down to 800. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to put it back on this. I'll let release the vacuum so we start with a fresh vacuum with nitrogen. I'll break it, blow it out, that stuff. I'm going to hook this back up and I'm going to test this and see if she can pull down to that on that. Since we know it can get down with this with the field piece, let's time it on that next one. Alright, I just started it. 12.16, the battery still got three bars left. And we're going to See if she pulls down now. Like I said, I pulled the vacuum out and released it. And we're gonna see how it does. Now that we know that it's clean with that filled piece, I'll let this run and give it a good test. Alright, so I give up. It is uh, struggling again at around 1200 microns. I'm gonna swap back to the fill piece, finish it up. Anybody want to buy a Hercules vacuum pump, you guys let me know. So I let that thing run for another 10 minutes. And it couldn't get down past 1200. Kick this thing on, and we're dropping really quick. And really quick. This is a 6 CFM, that's a 2 CFM. I'll stick with my fill piece. So it's literally three minutes later from when I just kicked this thing back on. And we're already down to 500 microns. So I got a challenge for NAVAC. If they're up for it, they want to send me battery powered vacuum pump that think that they can do a better job than this fill piece. Send it to me and I'll make a video. Uh, starting with a Hercules because it's more affordable and all the other videos saying it performs just as well as Navac. Makes you wonder how well the Navac's going to perform seeing how that one sucks. I'm going to be honest. I hate talking bad about tools, but when you spend, I spent $160 on the tool, $80 on the batteries, another $80 on the battery charger. When you're spending that much money, 
on a more affordable more affordable tool um, and it doesn't perform like they say it's going to it makes you wonder about other companies and other stuff um, I know the field piece has got a lot of history and I have not been disappointed this field piece is only two three years old this is six CFM one and it's never disappointed me. It has went through a lot, used and abused, oil changes, uh, dirty oil, a lot of bad systems, and I think still does awesome. So I don't, I don't know what to say. I know my feelings. Um, some other people might have had a better situation with that, that pump, and I know they might come back and say the Y fitting that I have on it is the culprit but it's it's not um i've tested it on just a recovery tank and stuff and it it just takes way too long i'm not in here to hang out and lose money i'm here to make money so i need stuff fast and efficient so that's just my two cents so navac if you're out there and you think i'd be happy with it and you want to send me one to make a video i'll, I'll do it for you so by all means, I am not a field piece fanboy. Um, I just like stuff that works for what you pay for. See, I got the Testo gauges. I do have some issues out in them, but to tell you the truth, they're a little bit lower priced than the field piece ones and they work great. Um, there's some things that I would fix on them and, uh, and then they would be perfect. But besides that, they work fine. And right now we're running, I'm about to add some refrigerant to get her topped off. But if this helps you guys out, um, I appreciate you guys like and subscribe. I hate putting out videos. I hate putting out videos where I have to say something bad about a product. I'm not going to necessarily say it's bad. I think it just has its place. Um, it'd be great probably for self-contained systems, small refrigerant systems like ice makers and stuff, um, other components like that. I think it would be great um, but for the equipment that I work on and the long line sets and everything else that two CFM just can't cut it it can't when you're trying to get in and out of these jobs and you're trying to do stuff pretty quick it's it ain't working for me so um, I'll maybe I'll use it on uh, or I'll get one of the refrigeration guys to use it and shoot a video here soon or something on a refrigeration system but besides that yeah I don't recommend it if you do residential HVAC like I do I'd look for something else um, I mean everybody everybody has good vacuum pumps Hillmore makes good ones JB makes good ones I like this field piece one because it's square and when I I live around an area with bad traffic, dumb people driving, and when you have to turn a corner sharp or dodge people, it doesn't roll and spill oil all over the back of your van. So it being square, it doesn't roll at all, it stays put. That's all one thing that I have reason why I bought that vacuum pump, really. Not because it had the Philip Peace name on it. But thanks for watching, guys, um, and we'll see you next time.